stopping by and it's time for a new haul, y'all. So let's get started. I'm gonna start out with a couple of things that I got from the Dollar Tree recently. They have these cute little um, summer signs that I'm sure I'm gonna figure out something to do with. So I picked up two of those. And I also picked up a couple, let me see if I can get those in frame. Um, picked up a couple of these signs. Now what I'll probably do is I'll take this part right here off and just use the hearts and I'll use these for something different. And then my favorite, they had some of these metal signs. So I got two happy, oh that one says home. I did, I got two that say happy and two that say home. And you can see these are Crafter Square. And then in anticipation for the fall, I picked up these two signs. And, and then I picked up three of these. They're different. Well, two of them may be the same, I don't know. Yeah, because I'm always in need of plaques and signs to um, craft with. And y'all just excuse And then I got some things from the Hobby Lobby. I just got these yesterday because they were having a huge sale. So I got some more um, crafting paper. These have some beautiful patterns in it and I just love it. And I think maybe you can see this book was originally $21.99 and they had it reduced to $5.49. Uh, let me show you some of the, this is the, Girl, you've got it upside down. Okay, here we go. This one is called Honey and Spice, and it's really pretty. Um, I'm seeing lots of fall. Look at that. That is beautiful cardstock right there. Um, yeah, I'm seeing maybe some winter in here too. Oops. This one was originally 15. 99 and it was reduced to 399 so I picked it up and Hobby Lobby doesn't have their 40% um, off coupon anymore but you know 549 and 399 that's not too bad here's another one um, from the paper company that was originally 21.99 and I got this for reduced for five dollars and forty nine cents. There we go. But you can see some of the um, pretty patterns in here, especially that one. I love the florals; they're so pretty. That's pretty. I wonder if you can. Nah, that light doesn't make that big of a difference. This bag is from Walmart. Now, I just finished my 4th of July big video with all of my crafts on it. And the banner one, I didn't like it. I do like it. I love it. But it looked unfinished. So, I have some things that I'm going to add to it. And then I'll... Um, do an update or I'll show it again and hopefully a video coming at the end of this week so we'll still be in time for the 4th of July but I did find these little um, fat quarter pieces this is just one piece of fabric that you would typically find in a fat quarter and they were 75 cents a piece so I picked up all four of these and I'm going to incorporate them into my 
jizzed up banner kind of thing. And then I also found this one. I may save this one for a different, it's, it's more Americana to me, really, than 4th of July. Now, look what I found at Walmart. These are the cutest things. They're, now, why is that one kind of wonky? Okay. Well, anyway, they're mason jar wood cutouts, and they're so cute, and I know exactly what I'm going to do with these. Um, I'm going to be doing a, I'm working on a project in my kitchen right now. Um, I know I've talked before, I want to go the yellow and the cobalt blue route with the sunflowers. And I don't want it to be too busy, but y'all, I'm also just loving the yellow and the cobalt blue. I'm loving the lemons and I'm loving bumblebees. So, well, along with the sunflowers. So there's absolutely no telling what my kitchen's gonna end up looking like by the time. I need to pick a theme and stick with it, I know, but it's so hard because I've seen some of the cutest bumblebee crafts and I've seen the cutest um, lemon themed decorative trays and then the sunflowers, I just love those. So I don't know. We'll see how it all turns out and you all will definitely see it. This, this is just cardstock. And I got it in two different sizes. I got the eight and a half by 11 and then the 12 by 12. And it just really is just cardstock. This is good to use for crafts, the, the rustic and farmhouse and the, the paper crafting you do along that thing. So that's the reason I got this. And one of the creators I watch that, that I follow, um, Kelly Barlow Creations, um, she makes signs all the time. Well, everybody does, but hers are really, really cute. She's like a master at those things. And she uses the felt a lot. Let's just do it. So I got some black, I got some red, and I got some white. Okay, back to Hobby Lobby. Now, like I said, they were having a great sale up there. These were on sale 50% off. They were $14.99. I don't know if you can see that, but they're these cute little spice, cute little jars. And then I also picked up a pack of these taller ones. Maybe you can see them through there. They were $19.99 and they were 50% off also. So I got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 24 jars for 17, 18 bucks. So that's not too bad. Now all I need is a label maker. And guess what? I can't find anywhere not even at Walmart, a label maker. And I've looked, I've looked at two different Walmarts. I've looked at, I didn't expect to find one at the Dollar Tree, but out of desperation, I looked anyway, no. And I looked at Hobby Lobby and Hobby Lobby had one label maker and the package was found opened with no label maker in it, so. Whoever just decided to take that one for free and use it, I hope you get a lot of good use out of it because I really needed it and would have paid for it. But anyway, let's not be bitter. And then here's my, um, this is just my Hobby Lobby um, receipt that I'm gonna keep because I do, I have an app on my phone called Fetch Rewards, or I think it's just called Fetch, F-E-T-C-H. And all you do is whenever you buy something, wherever you buy something, you take a picture of your receipt and you get points. And I've been doing that for, wow. I honestly can't tell you how long. Okay, and moving right along, I did pick up some of these pearl looking beads by Crafter Square at the Dollar Tree. Oh, I didn't show this. 
I got this cute paper lantern from the Dollar Tree. They've started carrying these now. Um, and they're just so cute. And they have a little light in them. I typically don't turn the light on, but they just look cute hanging out on the front porch. And when I um, style my front porch area with the 4th of July stuff, I'm going to add that. You know what? Why didn't I get two? Because it's going to look unbalanced with just one hanging there. Oh, well. I'll hang it in the middle. No big deal. But anyway, it's cute and it was a dollar. So, I got it. Now, let's, let's go through some fails here. <laughs> okay. You see these cute, precious little boxes right here? These little trays. And they are. And I do have something that I'm going to do with them. But let me tell you why I originally bought them. Because I wanted to do... A big trend right now is making these decorative trays to put on your table. And you make the base of the trays sort of just generic so that you can swap out the pieces that you put on them for different holidays and you know maybe spring summer winter fall things like that and they're really cute um but my dining room table is no matter how hard i try becomes a catch-all and to have something that busy sitting on my table it would just be lost on it and it, it wouldn't be the focus part of the table. So, I might end up doing one of the decorative trays just to do it and do a tutorial video because I'm not kidding, they are cute. You, just depending on how you make it and what you wanna use, they are so cute. Um, but to keep one setting out, to, I'm not gonna do that, but I might do a fall one or a Christmas one, you know, and we'll see when that time rolls around. But, I needed some of these little boxes, which I do have. I have two and two is all I needed. But long story short, this is not the right thing. I thought it was the right thing. One of these days I'm going to learn to take pictures with my phone so that when I'm out doing shopping for my supplies, I can look at it and make sure that I get the right thing. This right here, because it's only that deep, it's not going to work for what I needed it to work for. Do you, if you just recently watched my 4th of July video, you heard me ranting and raving quite a bit about those hateful little stars that I had to hand paint because I could not find stickers or anything anywhere. Let me show you what I had in my stash all along here particularly right down here at the bottom those tiny little stars and this size and that size and that size and even that size yeah I had them the whole time I just didn't um another thing I need to learn to do is when I do go shopping shopping <laughs> when I do go shopping for my supplies let's don't leave them in the car Let's go ahead and bring them in the house and find a place for them so that when I get ready to do a video, I don't have to stress out and become aggravated because I think I don't have what I want. So, yeah, that made me real happy when I saw that. Anyway, on to better things. I found these are all Crafter Square, and I got these all at the Dollar Tree. And I must have just hit the Dollar Tree on a good day because I never find stickers this cute at the oil embed, you know, and they're 3D embellishments. So I don't know if you can see through that, but anyway, they're not just flat. They have some, they're 3D, they have some texture to them. But I got these family ones, which I just think are so cute. And then look at this. It's got a little yellow truck on it with the flowers in the back. And then it's got a little um, ladder thing right here with the flowers on it. And I love these. You know I do because 
sunflowers, the little red truck. Um, oh, and a blue truck. Yeah, these are so cute. And then I also got these. Just got a little bicycle on it. And this is gonna come in. I think I'm gonna be able to use this because I've got a, let me see if I can reach this over here. No, I can't. But I've got a wreath form that looks like a bicycle wheel. It doesn't have that many spokes on it, but it's got, it looks like a bicycle wheel. And I think if this is um, a big enough size, that's gonna be cute to incorporate into that wreath that I'm gonna make. And y'all look at this. Even if I run out of time, to use spring, which I really have at this point because I need to be working on summer stuff. I can save these until next year. And then this right here is some more home and family. These kind of have more of a, I could use a couple of these into fall and then some summer. So I'll get good use out of those. And then the last thing, and these are as cute as they can be, these little magnetic bookmarks. I mean, all of these, six of these for a dollar. I think they only had two of these little packs. I would have picked up more because these will make, even if you don't want to craft with these, if you buy someone, these just make great gifts, a little extra piece to put into a gift because they are so cute. And truly, I would have paid a dollar for each of these and thought I was still getting a bargain because they're magnetic and they're so pretty and they've got all the um, verses on them. And I got six for a dollar. So thank you, Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna put these over here where I won't forget that I have them. So we're getting close to the end, but I did, I was so excited when I was in Dollar Tree this last time. They have some of the prettiest greenery florals. They have these fern looking leaves, and then these ivy looking ones, and then these ones that I don't know what they are. Are they palm leaves maybe? I don't know what they are, but it's greenery and I liked it and I'm gonna use it. And then they have um, these right here with the green and the red. And I know I see these all the time, these type of leaves. I don't know what they are either. You know, I've told y'all before, I'm not a plant person. That's why I have to buy these silk ones because they don't die and I can't possibly kill them. Now I think about it too hard because I could probably figure out a way to do it. So, but anyway, um, I didn't just buy <laughs> these four. I got, I think, three of each of these. Okay, one more Dollar Tree bag and then we're done with Dollar Tree. And then just one more um, Hobby Lobby bag. And like I said, I didn't just buy all this yesterday. This, this especially these Dollar Tree ones. I've had these for maybe a couple of weeks and they've just been sitting in my car. Like I said, I forgot I had all this stuff. Um, I went ahead and got some wood glue because I needed some. And I found these cute little buckets. Um, now, did I get these from the Dollar Tree or did I get these from Hobby Lobby? I don't remember. But anyway, these, um, when I was talking about making the, um, I must have gotten these from the Dollar Tree because I had the little um, tray, decorative tray on my mind. And I thought, well, now look, those will look so cute. I can just paint them and put little designs on them and um, put them on my little decorative tray. Yeah, okay. All right. And then coming up, what I've been seeing, I think is gonna be a trend for the summer is um, a lot of beach themed 
crafting or decor, that's the word I want, decor, and nautical decor. I did get some more of this nautical cotton rope and then um, some of the jute nautical rope. But I don't just use these for um, those particular types of decor though. I mean, <laughs> as a crafter, you're taking this rope and you're wrapping it and stringing it around everything you can think of and it won't have anything to do with beach or nautical anything. So I'm always gonna need this, but I am going to try to if there's anyone out there that does particularly like the, the beach decor or the nautical decor, I am going to make something that goes along those lines. So I am going to try to do different things um, that will appeal to a wider variety of people. So I picked up some of this rope and some of it will be for a... Um, beach themed project and then for a nautical themed project. Um, this last little bit of stuff is from Hobby Lobby. Now all of this I did get yesterday. I found this stuff called Simply Tacky and it's it's supposed to or it says that you can mount photos, um, it holds candles, flowers, other stuff. You can clean keyboard and typewriter keys with it. Okay. Well, anyway, um, I have this one project that I haven't, I haven't put on a video yet. It, it's all coming, I promise. But, um, it's some little wooden animals that I, farm animals that I decorated and, and hung up in my kitchen. And, the rooster keeps falling off and I don't know if that's some kind of omen or something because I do have a little bit of a rooster thing going on in my kitchen too and it's like the rooster is just rejecting the whole idea of it all. But anyway, um, so I got some of this to see if I couldn't um, get that one stubborn little animal to stay put where I put it and if I don't, I picked up some of this Surebonder mini glue sticks. Um, I have heard that for your heavier type projects and things like this, the Surebonder and the Gorilla Glue craft sticks are better to use than just the Dollar Tree. I haven't had any trouble, but the only thing about hot glue is that when it dries, it gets really hard and especially if you have it under paper or fabric or something like that it can you can see the form of it through there and it, it doesn't look nice so um, anyway I'm gonna try the sure bonder and um, I think I even no, I was gonna buy a small thing of the Gorilla Glue ones to use also, but I just, I mean, I've got 50 of these in this pack, so I didn't buy any. And then I did pick up a red, white, and blue bandana, because like I told you, I'm going to zhuzh up that 4th of July banner with my little fat quarters here. And then, well, I just pulled the thing right off that. And also, um, these bandanas and well, I might as well show you this too. I wanted some little pom-poms to, some red, white, and blue pom-poms to put on my banner because I saw a picture of one and it was so cute. Um, and it's ridiculous what they charge for pom-poms now. So I just got in my mind, you know what? I'm not buying that because I've got plenty of yarn at home. I'll go home and make some. Well, I don't really know how to make them, <laughs> but what I can make is tassels and they are precious. I already have some made and I went ahead and because I like to stick with that rustic kind of thing, I made some jute twine ones also 
and they worked just I love it when a plan comes together I mean this was a happy little accident and it turned out to be just precious so that's all I'm gonna tell you right now I'll have that uh, it'll just be a little quick video but I'll have it up and you can see it all put together and then I did go ahead since they were having such a good sale at Hobby Lobby um, I went ahead and picked up some of these beads I got the natural colored looking ones um, in the different sizes and I really want to start doing a lot of crafts with these because I love these beads and I think they will be fun to work with so I picked up a couple packs of those and look at here what are those look at that guess what was not at Hobby Lobby when I was looking for these this but here they are now, so to avoid all of that problem for next year or whenever I decide to use these again, maybe at Christmas or whatever, I went ahead and got a pack and I don't have to worry about it. I've needed a pack of wire clippers for a while because I'm tired of hurting my fingers and ruining my scissors trying to um, clip greenery apart. So, I went ahead and got a pair of those. And then I found these cute little stickers. They're Love, Grace, I know, Love, Faith, Grace, Peace, Trust, Pray, Joy, Thankful. And then these are the Joy, Blessed, Happy, those kind of words. But I thought those would make, um, I know I'm going to be able to use these in something. And then Father's Day is coming up. And my daddy likes old cars and... Um, I don't think he cares much about roller skates, but he just loves this old, is this too Americana? I don't know, but, um, this has a couple of old cars on it and it has a Route 66 sign and just some different things like that. Um, this motor oil clock looking thing. And I want to try to figure out. I mean, I have his gift already, but I do want to make him something. So, um, I'm going to try to figure out how to incorporate these. And, I mean, can you say they were only 74 cents for the whole thing? So, yes, I picked those up as well. Okay, and then the last three items. Um, look at this. Look at these letters. They look like um, wood that is so cute and this fits right into my whole theme that I like to use. They had these reduced, this whole thing for $2.74. And then I have the red and black gingham buffalo check. I call it buffalo check. Um, these are gonna be good to use at Christmas and then during football season. So they were all marked down to $2.74. So I picked up a pack of these. Then last but not least, there's a couple of items that I promised myself when I first started doing this that I'm not just gonna run out and buy all these random things that I see other crafters using because I'm probably not gonna be that into it and I'm probably not gonna be that serious about it. And uh, one of those things was this right here. <laughs> a paper cutter because I can't cut in a straight line. Um, I would like to have at this point, oh yeah, my other thing is a Cricut. I said, I'm not ever gonna buy one of those. We'll just wait until I do the video of um, showing off my new little craft area. Cause you're gonna see a Cricut in one that I've used one time, but again, I got it on sale. I would have never paid full price for that piece of machinery. Um, I just happened to see it on sale, so I bought it. Um, and I do plan, I think especially as it starts to roll around toward fall and Christmas, I'm going to be using it a lot more I just need to really get some time to play with it and figure it out and get in my mind how it works because I'm not afraid of it, but I'm a little bit 
anxious about it right now because I don't want it to be one of these things that I spent, even on sale, quite a bit of money on, and it's just gonna be a dust collector. And that, that makes my heart flutter to think about that, so I'm not gonna talk about it anymore. And the last thing is a cropodial. It looks like a, it looks like a transformer hole punch. I mean, it just looks like a mega hole punch, but it doesn't cut just through paper. It can cut through um, certain widths of wood, not huge pieces of wood, you know, like a two by four, but um, like some of my signs that I use, I could easily punch a hole through that. Um, some metals, it can punch a hole through. Um, and I have found recently that I've needed, I've had a use for that, I'll put it that way. Um, I'm gonna have to find it on sale because they can run. I mean, I found them for as little as $25, but then I've also seen them as expensive as almost 150 and why? Or what are you doing that you need to pay $150 for a machine like that? I, I can't imagine. I'd like to have a miter box. I would like to have my own um, drill. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's ridiculous. But I, I found that I could actually use these things. I have found myself needing to... Um, you know, go to my sweet husband and say, hey, can I borrow your this, that, or the other? And he looks at me side-eyed like, what are you doing? And he's like, really, you have a craft that you need electric tools for? And I'm like, yeah, I do. And this video has been long enough. I'm gonna try to edit as much of it out as I can so you won't be bored with it. But that's all I have for my haul. And you all do seem to like these haul videos because I get a lot of views on them. I get more views on them for even more subscribers than I have at my little baby channel. And since we're talking about subscribers, if this is your first time visiting my channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you don't wanna hit the subscribe button, at least please scroll down and give me a big thumbs up if you liked this video. That really helps my channel um, the analytics of my channel. I don't know how any of those work, but apparently they're very important to YouTube. So every thumbs up um, and every comment. If you're already a subscriber to my channel, thank you so much for supporting my channel. I appreciate it so much, more than you will ever know. This is so much fun for me and I enjoy it so much. And as long as it continues to be fun, and I continue to enjoy it, I'm going to continue to do it. So I would love for everybody to just come take this journey with me. Um, I think it'll be lots of fun. So I'm gonna go um, rest my voice now because I sound horrible. And I'm gonna move on to some more crafting that I need to get done today. So until next time, you know what I always say, be kind, be blessed, but most of all, be crafty. Bye-bye.